okay, and getting low and then as you attack. So from here, when we're going to pass today, what we're going to do is we're going to put our hand on um, on our knee like this, okay? We're going to put our hand on our knee as we approach. We're going to step into my opponent's guard. And the idea here is, is usually what happens is if I step my foot in here like this, my opponent's going to wrap up my leg here like this. Look for that single leg. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to step in like this. I'm going to put my hand on my knee. When he wraps up the single leg, my hand is ready for the underhook. Okay, so I'm not going to step in like this. It doesn't matter what I do now, I'm really miles away from him. Okay, remember what we said in the first instance, if you want to try to get low. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to step behind his knee to try and turn him a little bit like that as well. So we're going to try and step into the crook of his knee, nice and low here like this. And you'll see that that goes as a, almost like turns his back to me, but that gives me that angle to shoot this on the hook, catch his tricep, and then we're going to hit the mat about as hard as we can on the far side, almost in a sprawl. Okay. So from here, stepping in with my hand on my knee, I'm, look how deep I step there, my hand's ready for the underhook. Don't think about jumping on top of now, think about going the opposite direction, catch his tricep. Hand on the tricep, head down, okay? One more time. I'm lying on this tie, and my head is close to his head. Okay, on the hook in on this side. I'm lying on this tie, I'm lying on this bicep, yeah? You good to go? Let's go, three, two, one, let's go. Okay. So, gonna approach, low, bring it to here. I'm lying on his bicep and on his tricep. Uh, the first question is about the leg. And what if, like, you're either stuck with your knee facing sort of towards me, like I'm now? Um, and the simple answer is you're going to just always try and turn your belly away. Just don't think too much about um, what you're going to do with your leg, because your leg will follow. Okay? But I want you to think um, of the post box. Right? So, I'll show you in a second. Hey, hey, close the head. Here, like this. Shoot your leg up. Kick free. But the key here is going to be that your foot needs to shape the way of his legs. If he pinches his knees together and your foot is like this or like this, drag him across the mat and it wouldn't let go. If your foot is shaped parallel to his leg, it pulls out nice and easy. So that's what we're going to think about. It's not some postal. Don't metaphor. put your foot in the post box. Never there. put your foot in the post box. <laughs> no, do put your foot in the post box. No. I don't know where I've gone here, so I've gone upstairs. So here, once we've got to this position, we're lying across the tie. When you get here, patience will, will do a lot of work for you. You've got the underhook here like this. Very often when the guys don't notice pass, or they're like beginning, they think they can still take your back, so they'll turn towards you, which will give you the opportunity you want to pass. Okay, and a lot, especially if they open their legs, try and think they're gonna climb to your back. So patience here. Remember that you're in a good position. Very often when you fail in this position it's because you, you're hurried. But if you keep your belly turned towards him like this, you're sticking your own knee in there. So in fact what you're going to do is turn your hips and belly away. Here. Two, three methods of using your foot. One is if you're short legged or if you have like good flexibility, you can put your foot up to the top of the knee, on the top of the thigh. Kick. And you're pulling through. Method number two, is just drop my leg again. Oh, wrong leg, sorry, my fault. Method number two then, if you can't get that leg up there, like if you're long against somebody shorter, you can attack the top leg, kick the top leg away, pummel behind, stretch, and come through. Okay? Or should we just do those two for now? They're the most common. Let me see the second one in particular, maybe again. Let's turn around. So yeah, I actually want to see the second one. All right. My foot's trapped here. First one. I've got good distance here, like so I can bring my foot up. I catch on top of his knee here, like this stamp. When I stamp, turn my belly away. I'm coming out this way. You see that? Bless you. Bless you again. Okay. Second one. From here. I can't get that foot up. Too long. I'm gonna come here. Kick his top foot away. Like so, 
and then use my foot, pull his leg this way. Okay, once I do that, let's just do those two, and then we'll work on what happens when you can't get rotated, okay, when you can't turn away. Let's go, three to it. Yeah. Alright, so once we make the entry here, and again our knee is still trapped and um, we're going to move on from that last position first, okay? So this is the other one we were talking about. We're not going to um, pass necessarily now, we're going to create more pressure. So very often, especially in Ogi, um, you don't want the pass to be too much of a scramble, you know, um, you want to try and shut him down as much as possible, okay? And utilize the fact that you're on top a bit more. Uh, top is king in, in most, most times when we train anyway, but when you're in Nogi, in particular, when you're passing the guard, his opportunity to set up like scrambles and move a lot quicker is obviously better because he, you know, there's less grip and so on. And your chance of like securing him and holding him, keeping him locked tight, is pretty slim, okay? So once you get an opportunity to get an under hook or to get a body lock of some sort, you're gonna take your time. So that's what we're going to do with the feet now. So look, it's always from both sides, so don't worry if you can't see it. So, we're going to do the same, we're keeping the top foot free, finding the Achilles. Just look guys, I'm not doing this to find the Achilles. I'm just bringing my toes back, I'm using my feet to pull up. Red here. Okay, we passed the last one. Now what we're going to do, from here, we're going to try to set up a nice little chin cut here, over the near side. Now, I'm going to start to walk this way. Change my grip and come here to the far side. Okay? So now I'm going like that standard kind of seatbelt thing. Bring your arm in there, Nate. Just like, yeah, see, show. Um, yeah, here. My goal here is going to be to staple this leg to the ground and I'm going to start to walk my toes kind of at 45 degree angle over here this way. And what I'm going to try and do is stretch his hips. I want to like feel tension in his hips, okay? So I'm gonna start to stretch his hips here, 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 here. And when I feel him pinch together, I'm gonna to windshield wiper. And pass. Okay? So we're gonna try and set up a slow, 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 quick kind of situation. This way. So you can see my feet goes. Then pass here. Find his Achilles. Again, I'm not looking. Doing this, because if you wrap my leg now, I'm back in the close. Okay? So it's just here. Cut over the front leg. Switch my grip to the far side. Walk, walk, walk. Once you feel that tension and you want to stretch the leg back. Quick little switch. If you leave your knee in here, it can be quite tempting for him to close around your knee and shut down. I'm going to show that in a second now. Three. Okay. Once you get here, guys, sometimes the guy feels this in and tries to close his hacker. And that's good for you. He's not closing around anything. Okay, just not close around your, your, your lower leg. Then. Well, what that means is he'll stop moving because he thinks, oh, I got a half guard, I got something here. But he's not moving, and he's taking the time then. He'll just pick your knee up. When did I see that footwork again? Go. Right, that sequence goes. Three, two, one. My last one. Almost like you're getting swept. Yeah. All you need is a closed guard. Yeah. Do we know what we're talking about there, yeah? So just go this way. So I need to see this from here. You mean when you're here? Yes, when you're Almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to only play with the leg when the knee is on the mat. So I'm gonna completely have that, not just the knee exercise, but high, everything. So, if you feel that they're like this, with the leg off here now, I was talking to Sam about this as well. This is when you'll have to like lift your whole leg to come back here. Worst 
case scenario, you get swept. Best case scenario, or less good scenario. He just opens his leg now and just closes his guard, which is more common, right? So when the leg is pinned, I'm using my hip. So that when I come in here, come on here, close the guard, I'll sweep. Even when he, the more he tries to sweep, like, the worse it gets. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as long as that leg is pinned, very flat on the ground. I should have emphasized that marching in the drill as well, but you need to have kind of a hole up or climbing around. I should feel better now when you go down, yeah? If it doesn't mean you get swept down, maybe they're just like these or something like that. Anything else? Yeah. Anything else? What's your question? No, you don't have one. You just want Batman to climb higher on the case. Anything else on? All right. Happy days. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to start and set up. So the drill is uh, I'm going to do uh, the entry and get to the tricep and the under over position. Um, and then once we're there, we're going to start training. So from here, I'm going to start, approach low, step in. Once we're here, we're going to start the round, okay? If I pass successfully, game over, and we start again. If he puts me back in the close guard, game over, we start again. If he sweeps me or submits me, game over, start again. Swap every time, this is a successful outcome from either of you. The person on bottom should be like, 60%. Yeah, we're just playing with the position, trying to figure it out. If you just go, both these are gonna just go to bar and do A game, right? So 60% person on bottom in particular, person on top trying to use what we did tonight. Good to go. We'll get to the entry, start there. Three, two, one.